Gentrification is a really loaded word. It means that a neighborhood is changing. It means that there's investment and there's beautification. Often that means that there could be displacement of business owners who are renters or residents who happen to be renters as well. We really believe in minimizing displacement. We want the people who have lived in these neighborhoods for a long time to be able to benefit from the long-term changes. LA Moss is a fairly young nonprofit in Los Angeles. We are an urban design nonprofit, and our goal is to support lower income and under resourced communities to shape their own growth through policy and architecture. Who We Are is a, a group of, of young designers. We have architects, planners, industrial designers, landscape architects. We like tackling smaller problems with large results. Our vision is to see city growth that is equitable and self-directed where the best local solutions are brought to a citywide scale. Some of the neighborhoods include Watts and Wilmington to working up in the valley to Northridge and Pacoima. You know, we've had two earthquakes here over these years. I had one in 71 when I was in high school, and then we had a bigger one, and you know, everything falls down. I never even used to go down here. Um, it used to be very, it was very boring. All the buildings were beat up. The community before LA Moss came and before Northridge Sparkle uh, looked like a lot of other rather nondescript places in the valley. For us, we really believe in supporting communities in their ability to shape their future. And community members in Northridge for a very long time had wanted further investment and enhancement along with Cedar Boulevard. In the beginning, um, we were certainly probably a, a, a pain in the neck to uh, our local politicians. It was L.A. Moss and the Great Streets Project from the mayor. A difference began. L.A. Moss came in and put all their work all around the room, all their different ideas. They put color combinations up and the community came in and voted on that stuff. The furniture is, is very vibrant. The pattern that we painted on the ground is, is very complementary to the architecture itself. Um, the under awning art, um, which we've painted various shades of blue, sort of reflect and make the light very calm. And so I, I think it sort of transformed the corridor into a much more pleasant and welcoming place. The effect on the community from L.A. Moss and from the Great Street has been a 180 turnaround from where we were, you know, three years ago. In order to have a great street, you need to have great businesses and you need to be engaging people. So another thing that we did was we actually received a grant from the City of LA and the Department of Cultural Affairs for $15,000 and we threw the Reseda Boulevard Summer Art Series. In our last event, we had over 1,200 people from the local community there. All of that adds to this kind of art scene that happened with this. We brought the culture here to the area and, and that's exactly what it needed to be a great street. Over these years now, we've built a huge momentum of people that come out here. We found that it ends up being really resilient over time because a lot of community members uh, love what we've done and they maintain it much longer than we would have anticipated it to last. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.